Hello brothers and sisters, welcome to another episode here on Dangerous African Confessions HD. In this episode, we have a confession from our mother called Vicky, who shares with us about the dangers of dating sugar mummies and the likes. She tells us about the sacrifices that she has made in her life with young guys who prefers to sleep with older women for money and the likes. But before we go into what we have for this episode, I would love to take this opportunity to ask you to please kindly subscribe, share and like our videos. Kindly hit the notification bell so you will be the first to get notification to our videos when we upload. Without wasting much of your time, let's go and listen to the story. Hello, my name is Vicky and I would love to share something very important with you and your audience. It is all about what really goes on in the secrets that people do not pay much attention to. And that is what goes around to hurt them most. After a very few minutes of enjoyment and happiness. Why do I say this to you? I know about this for a fact because it has been the kind of life that I have lived and that has been the source of my wealth. I didn't really start life with roses on my table. Life in the beginning was very difficult and challenging for me and my siblings. Our parents were just ordinary farmers who used the farming business to take care of us. And in fact, we were very many. I had nine siblings, with me then we were ten altogether. For that reason, we were not having enough capital to see all of us through education. So, you will have to wait for this person to finish school then the other one will enroll. The others who will not be in school will also join our parents in the farm business till it reaches your turn to also go to school. Looking at the arrangements and the kind of life that I was hearing on radio about in the city, I knew if nothing at all is done about the situation, I will waste my life in the village. So, one time when a friend of mine that I knew years back who had also traveled to the city returned to the village and at that time, I knew it was my only hope of getting myself in the city. I told my parents about my idea of going to the city to find my own way. They didn't agree to the idea and my father warned me never to even think of that. They said a whole lot of scary things about life in the city. But then, my mind was already made up. When I told my friend about my desire to travel to the city with her, she told me to inform my parents first and that is the only way she can allow me follow her. I managed to convince her that my parents will never agree to it. But then, I will not tell anyone that I was going with her. I will just sneak out when the time was right so we can go together. At first, she didn't buy the idea, but then upon further push, she agreed to it. So the time came and off when I went out of the house in the afternoon, I didn't return home again till it was time for us to board the bus to the city. We got to the city and my friend Mercy took me to where she was staying. The truth is that Mercy told me all about her struggles in the city, but I wanted to be there too so I didn't even bother. She was living in a wooden structure of a room. This wooden structure was plenty in that neighborhood. So, I had no option than to join my friend in her room. I spent like a week in this place and I had never seen Mercy gone to work before. She only dresses up in the night and goes out only to return back in the morning. She sometimes comes very exhausted like someone who has done a very difficult job bigger than her. I asked her one morning about the kind of job she does and what kind of job I can get to start working. Because there was no way I was going to be depending on her for the rest of my stay in the city. She laughed and told me that I should relax, she will introduce me to the job she does. And if I like it, then I can join. But if I don't, then I can find my own job that I think will be good for me. Mercy told me one day that she is into the hookup business where she sleeps with men for money. She explained to me all the details of how it works. And how they get money. It didn't sound like a nice work for me. So I told her that I wouldn't be able to join her but will find my way for a different work. She laughed and said that she is waiting to see the kind of job that I can get. Months passed and I had not gotten any work and so... I went to Mercy and told her I wanted to try her line of work to see if I can do it. She didn't hesitate and she again gave me all the details of the work and how I should go about it. Just like that, I had become a prostitute. From my humble village staying with my family, 
but because I insisted of coming into the city, I am now doing things that ordinarily, I wouldn't even get close to. When I started working and I began to see money, I called home and told my family of my whereabouts. I never knew they thought I had died. Because, they had made search in our areas and the neighboring village to see if they would find me. But when they didn't, they assumed I might have gone somewhere and maybe killed or something. But my father insisted he is giving himself up to a year if he does not hear anything, then he will believe what they have been suggesting. In about some months into this business, I had gotten money so I called Mercy and I told her we should move away from the place that we were staying and go into a better place. But she didn't agree to it. So, I took my money and went ahead to rent a one-bedroom apartment for myself. This to me was a very good achievement. I was happy. I had forgotten about what people will say about me and the kind of work I do. During this period, I met a very nice woman, who came to like me very much. When she came to know the kind of work that I do, she told me that, there is a better way to get even much money and wealth than just sleeping with men and waiting on how much they were going to give you. I was kind of interested in what she kept telling me. So, one day I went to her house and she was living like a queen. There were about three maids in her house and a gateman. The design of the house was very modern and with complemented with these beautiful green flowers all over the house. She had about four cars to herself. Immediately when I saw what she had acquired, I wanted to be like her. She laughed when I told her I wanted to live just like she was living. She then promised to help me. But only if I can keep secrets and bold. I was ready to just live this beautiful and luxurious life. She said she would take me to a place where I would be ushered into money. She told me that she sleeps with men also, but the money that she makes does not come from the men that she sleeps with. I wanted to know how she then makes her money. She told me that, when the time comes, I will get to know how to make the money in excess. I was so much overjoyed and was just waiting for the day to finally come. I was practically living in her house. Since I could be there for a week before even going back to my one-room apartment. The day came and she invited me over to her house. When I went there, there were other women also there. And the moment you see them, nobody will tell you that they have money. I was welcomed and asked of my name by one of the new ladies that I just met. I told them my name and where I was coming from. They asked series of questions, and when the questions and answers were over, they asked me to follow them into one of the rooms in the basement of the house. I had been into this house but never knew there was this underground apartment. This was where my initiation was done. When everything was done for me, there was this last part that cemented the whole initiation process. And that was, all the four women made love to me. But then, it felt so good than I have felt. You see, during this love-making process, I could feel like there was this giant man who was making love to me. After everything was done, the woman who introduced these women to me asked them to contribute and get me a decent apartment. One of the women told me that she has a two-bedroom house and she is giving it to me for free. Now that I am a member of their fraternity, it was like they had prepared coming. Because she went into her car and brought the house keys and even the papers to the house. We all went to where the house was located and they handed the house over to me. Officially, I became a house owner the very day that I finished with my initiation. That evening, the woman who introduced me to the group who I called Godmother called me for a welcome party. It was during this party that I realized the group was not just made up of four or five people. Plenty old women and young women came and I was introduced to each one as the newest member of the group. A lot of young girls are doing things that you might think, they have the same body as you and might not even be a graduate like you and are making it big time. So you might be wondering how come. Everyone has a secret that they cannot share with the outside world. Except those that are part of that same secret. During the party, I was then introduced to the grandmother of the fraternity. 
She was very old but very beautiful. She had so many females following her when she entered. Everyone knelt when she entered. She asked all of us to rise up and went straight to the woman who did my initiation. After a brief conversation, my godmother came and called me into one of the many offices. I forgot to tell you that, in this house that the party was going on, was in the middle of the city. With a very tall gate that is almost like the height of the building itself. If you walk by the building, you might think that someone lives in the building, but then, that place is where every three months, all the members come for a general meeting and discussions. New friends are made during this time and business discussions are done here too. When I was asked to enter into that office, the grandmother was already naked and was waiting to have her turn with me. I thought what I did earlier with the first four were at the top notch. I was just lying, this was out of this world. After making out, she told me that the seed that she has planted in me was the seed that will grow to give me money. She said that if I meet a guy that I love and do not want to use his sperm for sacrifice, I shouldn't let him come inside of me. Because the moment he comes inside me, his soul has been exchanged for money. And my money will be coming like the sea water. But if I want to give birth, then I should come so they do some rituals for me to allow the sperm inside so the child can grow. This is the part 1 video of this interesting and intriguing confession. The part 2 will be posted today at 10 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. From now on, if a video is 1 and 2, the part 1 will be posted in the morning and the part 2 will also be posted in the evening. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation. Like I always say, these are not just stories for story's sake. They are meant for us not to make these mistakes our brothers and sisters are making. That's why we share these stories with you. I hope we've all learned something important from the story. In our quest to make it in life, we should always fight the temptation of having to do some immoral acts in order to make it. It might sound good an easy way to make money, but please, we should know that there is always cause and effect in this life. Whatever you sow today, you shall always reap tomorrow. You definitely cannot go and ask for anything from the devil without the devil trying to also take something from you in return. Let's be mindful of the choices that we make. Because it can either make or unmake us in the long run. Thank you and kindly share your thought with us in the comment section below. And if you are new here, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you for listening to this episode. Watch out for the continuation of this story in our next episode at 10 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. You can also watch other interesting and intriguing confessions we have on the channel.